Hey guys, it's Lego Boys E3. Today I'm gonna assemble this 6x6 blindfolded. So to begin with this challenge, as you can see here, I have a face camera right here. This is basically so I can't cheat. I can't like not have my blindfold on. You will see me with my blindfold on. And obviously my lips are synced to the video on here. So basically someone had submitted a challenge to assemble either a 3x3 or a 4x4 blindfolded and I had already done a 3x3 and I had done a 5x5 not on my channel and so I wanted to just step that up and change it to a 6x6. So obviously an even layer puzzle will be a lot harder than an odd layer puzzle because of the internal layer and this is the original V cube so it's kind of stable which kind of helps but at the same time it's pretty big. So now the moment you guys have all been waiting for we can take this little section out right here make sure not to lose any of the pieces that would be frustrating take this section out and here we go now the entire puzzle will come apart and a piece just fall on the ground great and so I am pretty familiar with the VQ mechanism so this shouldn't be too hard so just getting my blindfold ready here what we can do is put the core here make sure all the pieces are just perfect like this and then Put on our blindfold. Three, two, one, start. So I think the hardest part of this challenge will be to just find the pieces. And so the first thing we need to find is one of these pieces. Let's put that in here. And then we need to find uh, two pairs of pieces that go next to that. Okay, so here we go. We can put these two pieces together like this and then just slide them onto the core. Uh, I think that's right. Yeah, it feels like it. And so now we can just continue on doing that with a couple more sections. Okay, so here we go. We got these two sections built up. So what we can do is we can go ahead and find one of these pieces. Hmm. Here's one, I think. This will go right there. This piece will go right next to it. That looks right. And this piece might go there. Now we need to find the mirror of that. But yeah, this is basically how you start off. And there we go. That is one eighth of the way done. So yeah, the rest of this is going to be pretty fun. So as you can see here, I've started to do this multiple sections at a time. So what I'm just doing here is I'm looking for a couple of pieces that I can put together and then just slide these on here. And by doing it three sections at a time now, it's very repetitive. I can look for all the same pieces at all the same time. And if I find duplicates of the same piece, I can put them all in different sections. And here we go, the last two pieces, and we're basically halfway done at this point. And so this is getting kind of hard to find the pieces. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of search around the perimeter here. And just kind of push everything inwards all into one place. Wow, there's pieces way out here. I didn't even know that. Uh, all around, I don't think I'm missing any. So they should all be right here. And so here we go, just getting the final pieces of this first section on top. So for the next two, it'll be pretty much exactly the same thing. And the last one will be a little bit more tricky. I've noticed there are a lot of pieces concentrated on this side of my desk. That was not on purpose. Okay, so this was actually the very last one of these pieces in the entire pile, so it was pretty hard to find. But here we are just finishing up the very last section, or the very last section before the last section. Uh, so yeah, this section should be pretty interesting. Uh, the funny thing is, whether I put this corner in like this, this, or this determines whether or not this cube is solvable. So I'm just going to guess like that. Why not?
and here we go that piece in that piece in and then reach over to these two pieces and now we have this piece and this piece in just like oh gosh just like that okay done blindfold off and the cube is indeed assembled um I wasn't trying to get it solved obviously, but I guess the real test is to go and check if the cube was solvable, so I'll do that now. Okay, so it looks like this piece, this piece, so one of these corner pieces does need to be rotated counterclockwise, so we did not do that, but yeah, it's assembled and that was actually a pretty hard challenge. I didn't really expect it to be this time consuming. I mean, looking at my camera, I can tell that it was over an hour, about, but it was just about as challenging as I expected it to be because you literally have a pile of pieces and you have to feel around for the right one, which just took forever. But yeah, I hope that was kind of entertaining. I do not recommend trying this, but if you do really want to try it, then go ahead and tell me the time you got in the comments down below. Uh, see if you can beat me. I bet I could have beaten it if I wasn't in front of a camera like this. But yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!